Action. I'm Mike. And I'm Sean. And we're here today with Sean Snyder to install a Thompson dropper. Woo! Here's a look at what comes in the box. The dropper. Two lengths of five millimeter brake housing. 1.2 millimeter shifter cable. A spherical washer. Two ferrules. A micro tensioner. The remote lever. A cable end crimp. And a cable guide. Thompson external droppers are available with two remote levers. Older versions utilize a spherical washer and cable end located at the remote lever on the handlebars. The newer systems utilize the same remote lever as our coverts. In this instance, the cable end is located at the, at the base of the seat post. When installing a Thompson external dropper, there's no need to remove the grips from your handlebars to install the remote lever. Simply open the remote lever, allow it to swing, and place it in your preferred position on the handlebars. If installing an aftermarket seat post, crack the cradle bolts to loosen the saddle. Then remove the seat post from the frame. Install seat post into seat tube and set to desired height. Torque to manufacturer specification, but do not exceed five Newton meters. Then adjust the saddle position, offset and angle to your desired setting. Torque the cradle bolts to an even six Newton meters. For older versions of the dropper, thread the spherical washer all the way to the cable end. Then, take a ferrule and slide it onto the short segment of the cable housing. Insert the cable through the ferrule and the cable housing. Allow it to poke out the end just slightly. From there, install the micro adjuster. Then open up the exist the additional cable housing. Insert that onto the cable and into the micro tensioner. Continue to install the cable. You're now ready to mock up your remote lever. Okay. Now go ahead and install the plastic cable guide. Mock up your cable and housing assembly. Set cable in order to allow the steering to go to complete stops, either direction, without binding. Happy with that position? I like it. Mm -hmm. Then, route the cable through the stop. And mark for height. Remove from the assembly. The 
you don't have to completely back the cable out but make sure you're going far enough back that you're not going to cut it cut on your mark make sure you dress the ends using all to open up the inner sleeve and lightly file the ends flat that'll get a nice good seat inside the furl ferrule you're now right ready for the final routing of your cable Before cutting your cable, take the adjustment out of the micro adjuster. Now complete the routing of your cable. Slide the housing and cable through the plastic cable guide and through the cable housing stop. From there, slide through the small hole in the cam lever itself. Secure with a one and a half millimeter Allen key. Now adjust the remote lever using the micro tensioner. From there you can proceed to cut your cable. and install your cable end crimp. I made it awkward again. <laughs> I, I'm dancing all over the place like a moron. <laughs> Me too. <laughs>